you will be held accountable not only for the information that you do know, but also for the information that you heard and that you did not seek the Most High about. Yahiashah spoke in parables to see who would seek him. Isaiah 6, 9 reads, And he said, Go and tell this people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Do not be like this. As servants, we are called to seek the truth and seek him in all things. You can't pick and choose scripture. You can no longer just like only what you understand. You can't just follow the things that you understand. You need to also seek understanding in all matters. For example, if you know scripture says to call the Messiah by his name, and you know that Jesus is not the Messiah's real name, but you simply call him that due to the fact that the world calls him by that name, that is wrong because at that point you are just following the world. What a true believer should do is seek the most high about what his name is. We need to seek him. Another example, if you see scripture says to keep the Sabbath day and you see the world is not keeping it, you need to seek the most high about it if you should. You need to study. Don't just follow the world and not keep it. Is the most high your leader or is the world your leader? Do you follow the word or do you follow the world? Following the masses will lead you straight to hell. He will not just tell anyone, he will tell those that ask. James chapter 4 verse 2 states, You lust and do not have, so you commit murder. You are envious and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. If you will enter, study to show yourself approved, as scripture states, and the truth will set you free so that you won't be bound by those lies anymore. Shalom. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 states, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. The Most High reveals things to those that ask, to those who seek.